Hello everyone, it's PTT Journal. Today I'm back with a new tutorial for you. The video is filmed in a new format, so I hope you find it even more useful. Today's topic is Jin Son Ebis. Actually, the spread was made a long time ago, but putting a voiceover on the video takes time, so I'm very sorry. Anyways, uh, let's jump into the process. Uh, this time I tried to find uh, right vibes that would depict uh, my feelings and the atmosphere of the song the best. Uh, while you watch the process video, uh, I'm going to recall some basics. Uh, the apps I uh, usually use are Procreate, GoodNotes, Over and Pinterest. I usually find all the needed pictures uh, on Pinterest and I get inspired mostly uh, by it. Uh, then I use Procreate and GoodNotes to create the layouts for the spreads uh, and for lettering I use uh, the app Over. I like editing pics uh, in Procreate uh, by adding details um, or removing backgrounds. You can see this in my tutorials pretty often. I highly recommend to experiment with the photos you use for your spreads. In order to make your spread more natural and less chaotic, I would recommend you to try edit uh, all the pictures, like using the same filter or make sure they look just nice together. Uh, you can see that um, it took me a while to find a nice color balance for Jin's uh, main picture. Another tip that I personally find useful is to add borders uh, to the pictures. Uh, especially when you make digital spreads, some pictures can look very unnatural on the spread and very plain. Uh, but if you add borders and um, maybe add a little shadow, um, this, this spread will look way better. Besides tips that I want to share with you in this video, I'm going to answer some questions uh, that you have asked me on Instagram. Um, again, I'm way more active there, so if you have any questions uh, or just want to talk, uh, feel free to DM me there. So back to questions. Uh, one of the questions uh, was uh, whether I plan the layouts or not. And uh, I usually don't plan the layouts for the spread uh, because all the mistakes I make uh, can be solved easily uh, so no need to, to be well prepared before starting working on a spread. However, I would recommend you to plan in your head or just sketch quickly your ideas. It saves your time significantly. Another question was uh, if I listen to one particular song on repeat when I make spreads in order to catch the right vibes uh, or I just listen any songs? And the answer is no, but not always. Let me explain. Uh, I cannot listen to, to a song on a loop for a long time, so I usually just listen to the songs in my playlist. However, if I feel like I need to find uh, right vibes, um, I listen to the song for a couple of times. And fun fact, uh, when I was making this spread, I listened a lot to Jin's song. Uh, I also get questions uh, how and where I find inspiration. Uh, as I already said, I find inspiration on Pinterest, but not through like other artist spreads. Uh, for that, I use Instagram, but I'm inspired by pictures and photos uh, in general on Pinterest. Uh, I find this app a very nice one, and I check my recommendation there often. Uh, beside that, uh, on Instagram I follow a lot of talented journalers, so they also inspire me a lot. So um, I would recommend you to be open-minded and don't be afraid to try something new. I believe everything around us can be inspiring, so just look around, uh, find nice songs and uh, just start working on a spread. You can do this.
Now let's talk about one of the final uh, stages uh, of the spread making, um, which is lettering. Uh, you can uh, watch more detailed videos on my channel, uh, but the process in general uh, is the same all the time. Uh, for the basis, I use over, then I go to Procreate and uh, color my lettering, uh, add in details, and then I put the final results uh, in good notes. Um, again, I would recommend you not to limit yourself and always try something new. That's, I think, the best tip I can give you. Now I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments. And also a big shout out for people who damn me saying you came from YouTube. It warms my heart every time I see uh, such messages. Thank you so much for supporting me. So that's it for today. See you next time. Bye.
I'm not a saint. 